Alright, today in this video I'm going to be explaining how routers route traffic, uh, especially when it comes to networks and subnetworks that are either directly connected to them or if their next hop doesn't match their uh, the network that its interface is a part of. Okay. Now this is the key concept about routing is you turn on an interface on a router and the only thing they know is the connected networks that you set on them. So like for example here on router 1 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 it knows about the 12.12.12.0 slash 24 network same thing with the loopback. However on router 2 I put this IP address on purpose to show you that just because it's directly connected it will not send traffic to this IP address even though it's directly connected and it doesn't match the subnet map or the subnet ID of router 1's uh, interface. Same thing with this loopback over here. right? Now the whole thing about routers and routing is like I said before they only know what is directly connected and then two whatever their neighbors tell you about. Now this has to do with dynamic routing but if you don't have a dynamic routing protocol to share information routers don't know anything. Okay. So let's do an example. Let's do some pings here for router one and let's ping this IP address right here, which is directly connected. So if I do a show IP interface brief, we see that it's 12.12.12.1 and then has a loopback of 1.1.1.1. Okay. Now if we do a show IP route, it only knows about two networks, but it's directly connected. Shouldn't it know about it? Well, let's see. Ping. 22, 22, 22, 22. Nothing. No pings, no returns. Doesn't even send it out because according to its routing table, it knows nothing. It has, has no idea where the 22, 22, 22 slash 24 network is. All right. Same thing with the loopback, which is directly connected to its neighbor. Doesn't do anything. Okay. And it's because everything about routing has to do with the routing table. And according to router 1, it only knows about two networks, right? Same thing with router 2. Let's do a show. What is happening? Router 2 is wigging out. Show IP route. Still two networks. Show IP interface brief. Whoops. There we go. So then if we were to try to ping the other side, still wouldn't work. Now we have to tell our neighbors about our directly connected networks. And again, this is where some sort of routing protocol comes to play, whether it be um, static routing or dynamic routing, RIP, OSPF, ISIS, any type of dynamic routing protocol so we can share it. So that is why routers don't know or can't send traffic to other networks that they don't know about. Now for a quick config, let's just configure EIGRP on these routers and we'll do on router 2, router EIGRP, let's say 10, no auto summary and let's say all my interfaces, let's participate in EIGRP, cool. Now let's do the same thing on router 1, router EIGRP 10, no auto summary and network 000. Neighbor relationship, maybe, maybe, this one came up, oh, that's right, one of the things that has to deal with uh, EAGRP about directly connected networks is they need to be in the same subnet, so actually EAGRP is not a good one, uh, let's do router rip, I think rip will work. So let's get rid of this. That caught me off guard. <laughs> that was a good example. So no router EIGRP10. Take that off. No router EIGRP10. And let's do rip. Let's do rip. Router rip version 2. No auto network 100. Network 1200. Here's my cat. It's trying to be sneaky. 
Now let's go over to router 2. Let's do the same thing. Router rip version 2. No auto net 22000. And then network 2. See if this works. Come on, not a rip. Show IP protocols. Rip is sending. Okay. Routing information, maybe we're not getting it. Show IP protocols. Routing information. All right. All right, so even RIP isn't working. Uh, let me see if I could change some timers to make this faster. Maybe it won't even work at all because of these interfaces not being in the same subnet. Let's see. All right, so what I did was I changed version two to version one, and I didn't change the timers, but I did some debugging. And even when we have IP addresses on a directly connected network, like these two links right here, these point-to-point -point links, and even with version one, who RIP version one broadcasts uh, those, those, uh, their updates to the other side, if it doesn't match that, I, that subnet mask, that that interface is receiving those updates on, it ignores it. And you can see here, RIP ignored version one update from bad source 22.22.22. He's like, that is wrong. So yeah, so that's it. When you have routing and those point to point links, those directly connected interfaces need to be on the same subnet or else not even RIP who broadcasts information with the 255, 255, 255, if it doesn't match that subnet, then it will ignore it. So it's very important that you put the IP addresses correctly on interfaces, and so everything would work or will work, okay? So uh, I hope that was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.